Thanks for sticking with us as we're reading through what I think is some tough stuff in the Old Testament. Uh, We're continuing to see God's judgment on the nations around God's people in Isaiah chapter 17 through 19. And I think the key thing that I would take from that is that this is a call to be sober-minded, to think clearly that to live in rebellion against God uh, is going to bring God's judgment. And that really fits in well with our New Testament reading. Uh, We're continuing Ephesians. We're in Ephesians 5, 15 through the end of the chapter, through verse 33. And it begins with a call to be sober-minded, that we need as much help as we can to live a godly life. And, And so it says, be filled with the Spirit. And then the Apostle Paul leads into a discussion about marriage. That especially if God has placed you into a marriage relationship, you desperately need to be sober-minded, to be filled with the Spirit, to keep Christ at the center of your marriage. Uh, This is the the wedding uh, window here in the church. You know, the back of the church follows the the Christian's life. So way on the other side of the uh, narthex is baptism and then confirmation and then word and sacraments. And here is the wedding window. And if we are going to stay united as husband and wife, it's vital that we keep Christ at the center. So as you read God's word, it's my prayer that God's law does convict you in whatever role you have in life, husband, wife, single person, and that you come back to God's word so that you might be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with songs and psalms and spiritual songs so that you can submit to one another, to place the needs of others before your own, just like Christ placed our needs before his own.